I mean, I love me some God. I love me some Jesus, but check your facts. So you're straight and you're really attracted to trans women, but you don't know what to call yourself. Open-minded, not asshole, not a trans folk. I was just misgendered in my local FedEx. All right, guys, now it's time for everybody's favorite part of the show, where I react to unhinged TikToks from the alphabet people. Up first, trans activism takes on the Bible? But did you know that Eve, the very first woman, as per the Bible, was made of Adam's rib bone? And because of this, Eve, if we're going to take it as literally as um, y'all like to, um, Eve would have had male DNA. So quite literally, if you were to have taken her DNA and looked at her chromosomes, which is another point randomly you guys like to make. It's like you believe in Adam and Eve, yet at the same time you like to quote science when you're attacking us. But anyways, if you were to look at the um, chromosomes of Eve, she would have Adam's chromosomes. So w which is it? Are you going to call Eve a man now? Literally the very first woman? Are, are you actually going to call her a man? Because I thought it didn't matter how many surgeries we had or how early we started hormones, etc. I thought it never mattered because you can't change your chromosomes. I mean, I love me some God. I love me some Jesus. But check your facts. Oh my gosh. Babe. Put down the crack pipe. When she said, check your facts, that sent me. To be honest, that sent me. My friend, you are the one that needs to check your facts. I'm not much of a biblical scholar, but I do know enough to know that Adam and Eve in the Bible had children. So even following this absurd hypothetical and example and weird, I don't know, intellectual game this person is playing... It is impossible that Eve was a trans woman because trans women cannot create eggs or, gi or give life to another human being. That is a thing reserved to biological females. So this whole narrative is just dumb and obviously wrong. Also, a god powerful enough to transform a rib into a woman is also powerful enough to change the DNA or the chromosomes or whatever. I really hate this whole thing because it feels like activists like this are just trying to troll and insult Christians. You're trying to infringe on their beliefs and rewrite their religion. Rather than ask to be left alone and ask them to respect your freedom and your rights, you're actively thumbing your nose at them and basically trying to rub dirt in their wounds and make it worse. And guess what? That is going to cause a backlash. That is going to cause them to view you as the enemy. Whereas if you just were trying to go about your life in peace and let them believe what they believe and you believe what you believe, but be free to do you, some of them would still, you know, be hateful. I, some of them would, but many more would be fine with that and would just privately disagree with you. But that's not okay with people like this. They have to come troll, harass, and denigrate those folks in the name of tolerance and inclusion. But all they're actually doing is undermining tolerance and inclusion for their own community. All right, this next one is a TikTok from Rose Montoya, who I believe is actually the transgender activist who flashed their bare chest at the White House and was then banned by President Biden from the grounds. Well, Rose is now here to tell us that if you are attracted to Rose, you are straight. And if you aren't attracted to Rose, you are an asshole. <laughs> So you're straight and you're really attracted to trans women, but you don't know what to call yourself. Open-minded, not an asshole, not a transphobe. A decent human being, a heterosexual. Trans women are women. So to say otherwise, or to try to come up with a new label for your sexuality for being attracted to us would be othering and assuming that we are not real women when we are. So this is more gaslighting. And also it gets into the territory where I start to feel personally attacked as a gay man. Newsflash, Cupcake. Sexual attraction is about biological sex, not gender identity. Gay people exist because we are attracted to people of the same sex. It's not a choice. And our sexual attraction to other men, for example, or other males, 
doesn't make us sexist against women in the same way. It doesn't make a straight man a bad person or an asshole to not be attracted to someone with male genitalia. Trans women identify as women, they present as women, but ultimately they are biologically male. Many still have male body parts. So to be attracted to that is not just straight and people can't control what they're attracted to. So it's really dumb and really harmful and actually counterproductive because it undercuts the message that got us gay people acceptance, which is you can't, you're born this way. You can't control it. You can't change it. Well, you're actually undercutting that message when you say that the people are bad people because of who they are or aren't attracted to when that's literally not the choice. It's not a choice. So are you saying it is a choice? Cause then you're undercutting gays. But if you agree, it's not a choice then you're attacking these people for something they can't control and saying it makes them a bad person, which is totally illogical. And more fundamentally, why are people like this, and this person is not the only one, why are they trying to police people's attraction in the first place? The trans people I know, they don't have any problem getting dates. There are plenty of people who are interested in them, and that's wonderful. They don't feel the need to like shame others into finding them sexy. That's strange behavior. I'll leave it at that. That's strange behavior. I will say, though, some people like conservatives or red pill types will always say, like, it's gay to date a trans woman or to be attracted to a trans woman. And that also doesn't make a lot of sense in that it's kind of complicated. I think it's somewhere on the bisexual spectrum, somewhere in between. And you know what? That's wonderful. Do whatever you want. All consenting adults involved. I don't care. I think go knock yourself out. But it's not exactly gay in the sense that most gay men, myself included, aren't going to be attracted to a trans woman because they present so feminine or they've even had in many cases surgeries to have uh, you know body parts that represent a, a female body that's not what we're attracted to as gay men so to conflate that with gayness i mean it might be literally technically true in that they are males who are attracted to another male but it's not really what people mean when they talk about being gay either it's bi it's somewhere in between it's whatever and that's fine. This is such a robust internet discourse, like about gay, it's transphobic to not be attracted to trans women, or on the opposite side, people saying it's gay to like a trans woman. Like, who cares? Just uh, why are we so worried about this? And I know I'm being a hypocrite because I'm covering it and talking about it, but people are talking about it. So I'm just joining in. And I just feel like we all need to just not police other people's attractions to adults. Like, just let them, let them be and find more important things in our society to have a f fight a culture war over. All right, up next, this woke lesbian is triggered because she got misgendered in a FedEx. But there's a twist. I was just misgendered in my local FedEx. Yep. The woman behind the counter asked her coworker, did you help that guy yet? And after further observation, she goes, or lady. See, immediately my thoughts were, cancel this woman ruin her entire life because she called me what i look like just kidding that's what y'all would do i on the other hand am aware that i look like a guy look at me am i a guy nope just a dyke but this is your message if you look like a guy they're gonna call you a guy if you look like a chick they're gonna call you a chick regardless of what you identify as Okay, and stop taking it so personally. In fact, you'd be a little happier if you could laugh sometimes. Laugh at it. Ha ha, it's funny. It's funny, okay? It's funny. Just saying. Yeah, so the first time I saw this, I thought it was going in a very different direction, but it turns out this person is a right-leaning lesbian, and she pushes back on a lot of the same extreme stuff that I push back on. And at least as far as this one video is concerned, I say, bravo. We need more people in the LGBT community who can take a joke, who don't make mountains out of molehills all the time, who don't film themselves sobbing and post it on TikTok because somebody called them ladies at a gay bar, and who have a sense of perspective and don't actually think it's the end of the world when somebody makes a verbal tick that they don't quite love. Because if you really have a sure sense of self, you don't need the constant validation of the rest of the world which is unfortunately where I think a lot of these woke activist types 
they fall short. They really do need the constant verbal affirmation from everyone around them because they actually lack that internal self-confidence. And I feel bad for them on one hand, but on the other hand, they need to stop projecting because they're doing a lot more damage than, than they are good. We need more just normal LGBT folks who can take a joke, who aren't far left social justice warriors. We need them to be the ones going viral more often, right? Folks like this, folks like myself, because the folks out there now, the alphabet TikTokers who keep blowing up, they are not giving our community a good name. They're giving us a terrible look and they're engendering more and more backlash with every viral video that gets posted to libs of TikTok. So maybe just stop being crazy and stop handing the people who don't like us so much ammunition.